still can't believe that someone would want to buy one of those steno machines. Well, there are 36,000 court reporters in the United States. Well, well now there's 35,999. Well, you do know that the court reporters are the guardians of the record, after all. I mean, imagine the history that this thing might have had. It could have taken the record of murderers or gangsters. Catch him here. I got the list of numbers from the throwaway phone found on the Vic. We've got numbers from 702, 212, 703, 901, and 309 area codes. Well, look, give me the New York number first. 212-555-7743. Uh, it says that number's for the Shorthand Museum. I was hoping it was a Linda Nades number, too. Can you track down the other numbers? I'll call you when I know more. One thing, though, before I hang up. The locations match up with the IP addresses and Bailey's instant messages. I think she and Alinda were in cahoots. I think they planned to steal the machines together. Maybe somebody got greedy. I'm surprised we didn't find anything to in the place. I'm not. It doesn't look like she went back there after leaving the library. I think she's on the run. Mm, perhaps we'll catch a break here. Oh, look at this place. I guess we'll talk to the curator first. What was his name? His name was Hardy. Hardy Har. I'm Hardy Har, the curator of the museum. Nice to meet you. Are you with the police? We're from the CSI lab. We need to ask you a few questions. Well, I've been robbed! Someone made off with half my machines! What took you so long? New York traffic? Well, when were you robbed? It must have happened last night. When I came in this morning, here was this mess and all my spindle machines were gone. And these people knew what they were doing too. The only machines they left were the ones that didn't have any value to them. Did you have a brevitype among those machines? Yes, my brevotype is gone. Do you know something about steno machines? Do you know who would want to steal your brevotype machine? You know, though, it's interesting. I got a call yesterday from some woman wanting to see if I wanted to buy a brevotype from her. Did you get the name of this person? You know, it's back on my desk. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Great, thanks. Do you think a Linda Nade would have had time to rob this place and the library last night? Well, I don't see crumbs, but look, there's something kind of interesting. Hmm. Excuse me, the police want me to come downtown. They say they found my steno machines. Was a brevitype among them? Well, I don't know, but it's at some hotel and there was somebody killed named Alinda Nade. Anyway, I've got to go. When you're dead, just have security close up. Thank you. Now we know why we missed Alinda at her home. Do you still think Alinda Nade killed Bailey? Or do you think there's another steno thief on the loose? <laughs>